about Islam. Muslim scholars and thinkers are gathering here in Jordan by the shores of the Dead Sea to emphasize that love exists strongly in the Islamic religion. This is a very important issue uh, because now we, we, are, we, we, we witness a, a, a very defaming attack uh, on Islam and its uh, teachings and Islamic civilization. This conference is trying to emphasize the centrality of love in Islam. I guess uh, given the misperceptions and stereotypes of, uh, about Islam being violent, being legalistic and so on, it often misses the fact that you know love forms an important element of our spirituality. No doubt if we come to faith and to Islam, there is every reason to say that Islam is a, a religion of peace and brotherhood of men. And how deep is the concept of love in Islam? Muslim philosophers, thinkers, Sufis, all have elaborated on the meaning of, of love, not just as a sentimental uh, feeling, but as something that is based on intellectual principles. And you see, that's why you see philosophers who are supposed to be rationalists, uh, who are supposed to use their reason and intellect. In fact, talk about love and, and uh, link it with other aspects of reality, with humanity, with God, with the universe, with the natural environment. And the result is, is it really a civilization of love. You see this reflected in the architecture, you see it is reflected in poetry, uh, in urban planning, in practically everything. Participants came from different backgrounds, Sunnis, Shiites, Easterners, and Westerners. But all of them spoke of the need to bridge the divides between the Muslims themselves and between Muslims and non-Muslims alike. I think most of the ulama, uh, you know, of the Shia Sunni community are, you know, really, really keen and have been, you know, fostering good relations and harmony. Sunni and Shia is the two group from two schools of fiqh. There is no any difference between Sunni and Shia. Our God is one, our Qibla is one, our Prophet is one, our Holy Quran is one. One of the great things of Ahlul Bayt, this institute is, it has always invited participation um, from Shia as well as Sunni. If you look at the long history of Islamic civilization, from Indonesia to Morocco, from Andalusia to Central Asia, there has been this really remarkable culture of coexistence and respecting the other. And this is enshrined in the principal text and, and uh, and sources of, of the Islamic tradition. But how can the true image of Islam be shared with the rest of the world? We have to come up with the good messages, with the, with the good portfolio that we believe that we have. Uh, once we have that, you know, we just hope, inshallah, uh, that we will find the outlets uh, to get this message across. Politically and socially, we have a lot uh, to do, and uh, we we just hope that you know better days uh, are ahead of us. From the shores of the Dead Sea, Tariq Al Farah, Press TV, Jordan. That's it for our coverage. As always, thanks.